Hello everyone, I'm Caleb. Welcome back to another Code Academy video tutorial. Today we're going to pick off right where we left off last night and we're going to be able to build our own web page. So let's go ahead and go down to HTML and CSS and click on build your own web page. We just finished off the HTML basics, fundamentals of HTML. Now we're going to know, uh, now that you know HTML, you create your very own web page. So let's get started. So obviously this is going to be a very basic web page, but building a web page is better than not building a web page because we're also going to be learning a little bit more in this video. So what you'll be making. Before we ask you to write a bunch of code, we think it's helpful for you to see exactly what you'll be making in this project. Check out the index.html file and the result tab for an example. We've made our very own web page. So the instructions are to hit the save and submit code to start building your own. So we just take a brief overlook at this index right here. In, in the index HTML file, we see we have doc type, HTML head, we have a title, result, closing off our head, we have a body, have h1, yes, yeah, sandwiches, we see this over here where it says yes, yeah, sandwiches, have an image, just sourcing it up to this uh, sandwich right here appears to be like some lettuce and maybe some tomato and maybe, I don't know, some turkey or something. I like eggs and ham and mostly sandwiches. Alright, so this is pretty much all that it's saying on the website, so let's go ahead and save and submit. Way to go, we get the green light. So every house needs a frame. An HTML page is sort of like a house. It needs a certain number of essential structures in order to work. Just like a house, an HTML page needs a frame. In this case, your frame is made up of a doc type tag, HTML, head, and body tags. Instructions. Your web page is blank as the day it was born. Let's add five things. First thing we always add is the doc type tag. And remember, that's what's going to tell the browser what language we are speaking to it. So in this case, we're going to say doc type and then we're going to say HTML because we are writing HTML. If we were doing, you know, something else, if we were doing a different HTML language, we say like HTML4, but we're just doing HTML. Then we need to add our HTML tags. Click enter. Now we need to add our head tags. Click enter. Get out of our head tags. And let's get into our body. Click enter. Oh, and it did want us to add a title tag, so let's go ahead and add a title. And we're not going to click enter on this one just because I can write my title and it will still be on the same line. So let's just say um, my website. There we go. So that's all we have to do at the moment. Let's save and submit our code and see if we get the green light. Way to go. Awesome. Let's go on to the next lesson. It's better with a header. <laughs> <You're ba> <coughs> <coughs> Man, excuse me guys, I'm still kind of sick. It's better with a header. Your web page could use an H1 header in between the body tags to let everyone know that your page is about you. Create an H1 tag inside your body tags. Between your opening H1 and closing H1 tags, type your name for all to see. Okay, so I just had to reset my code for it to come back up. I don't know if you guys' this would have been blank, but as I, we can see now, it's coming back up. So obviously, we need to put our heading one tag within our body because we can't have any of this, we can't have anything in the header tags because remember, guys, the head tags are only for loading up resources as to where the body tag or the body tags, that's the only thing. That you that's the only area that you that you can put stuff in that you want to see on your web page. So if we want to see it on the web page, we've got to put it in the body tag. So um it wants us to put our name. So let's just say our name. And as you can see, save and submit. Way to go. And let's reset our code, see if it gets back. Awesome, it's back. Tell us about yourself. Your page is coming along, but it's not telling us much yet. You could use a paragraph or two telling your readers what your interests are, what you do for a living, and how much you love learning HTML and so on. 
Insert three paragraph tags after your H1 tag, but before your closing body tag. Write a little bit about yourself in each of the three paragraphs. You can say whatever you want. It's your web page. So we just need to add three paragraph tags. And I'm just going to make three short, simple sentences. And one would be, I love learning. So that's our first paragraph. The second paragraph could be, I enjoy teaching. And then my final paragraph is, I have a passion for YouTube. There we go. So as we see, we have all three. And let's try and save and submit and see what we get. Awesome way to go. And let's reset our code. Does it come back? Sweet. There it is. A picture's worth a thousand words. Nice work. Your page is still looking a bit spare. Though, better add an image or two to spruce things up a bit. Remember, to insert an image from the web, you'll need to right-click and select Copy Image URL. Then use this URL in your image tag. Insert an image tag between your body tags. Feel free to put it anywhere. We think it'd look best after your H1 tag, but before your paragraph tags. You can make the source attribute point to any image you like. Okay, so it wants us to put in an image, and I think I, I want to say I can grab, go run over the YouTube right quick. Or actually, can I copy image URL, and then let's go underneath here. And let's type in our image. Remember, with the image, it's the source, paste. There we go. There's our image. And then remember, the image is self-closing, like so. And we're not using href. We're using the source, which is src. So right now, we have a web page, Caleb Hutchinson. You have this awesome little thing I made of me, except I just don't have the goatee. I just got the chin strap. But, I mean, it looked kind of funny without no mouth, so I just made the goatee. It says, I love learning, I enjoy teaching, I have a passion for YouTube. So it all looks good and nice and pretty. Let's save and submit and see what we get. Awesome. Way to go. And now let's just reset the code and there everything's back. Link me. Great. There's only one problem. Your webpage is like a house with no doors. There's no way to get in or out. We'll fix that by adding a couple of links. Once you successfully add your links and hit run, you finish. Revi uh, revel in the glory of your newly created web page. If it still looks like a little basic to you, don't worry. We'll soon teach you CSS to make your web page look sharp. Add at least two links to your web page. You can turn an image or a bit of text into a link. You can even turn part of a, the text inside your paragraph tags into a link. Check out the hint if you have forgotten about the anchor tag and how it works. Okay, so. Um, it just wants us to make a link, and remember guys, you can make a link anywhere you want. I mean, if I want to make a link in this header tag, I mean, say I only wanted the Caleb to be a link and the Hutchinson not to be one. So what I would do is come up here and throw in an anchor tag, and I'm just going to delete that side right quick, because I'm going to put it on the other end of the A, or the Caleb. So as you can see here, if I were to do it like this... Now you see we have our heading one, and let me let me space out this image right here. So there we go, and something like that. And let's indent this. Oops, not a, but tab that over. There we go. And now maybe that's a little bit easier for you guys to to read. Or they like comprehend. So as you can see, this header one tag right here is closing this one up here, as where this anchor tag is nested within this heading one tag. But as we see, the thing that's nested within the anchor tag is the name Caleb or the word Caleb. And then outside of the anchor tag, we see the Hutchinson, which is still nested within this H1 tag. So that's why it's still in the header. But now we need to add an attribute, which is the href. And as you can see, as soon as we did that, the Caleb turned blue over here on the preview. So let's go ahead and link that up to YouTube, or let's just say HTTP www.youtube.com. 
So now that's going to go to YouTube whenever we click on it. Now, let's just say we want to make I enjoy teaching. Okay, so we're going to do the same exact thing here, except we're just going to add the anchor tag, hrf, and let's just say um, www, oops, http www.google.com because a lot of stuff you do have to Google. I mean, you just don't learn the stuff on your own. You got to get out there and Google everything. And then once you do that, you will be super smart. What happened? Oh, are we? No, did it? it for some reason, it shot me back. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're back where we were. I don't know what just happened there. I guess I hit the delete button and it shot me back to lesson five instead of six. Okay, anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, so here's our anchor. There's that. Hit space, and now let's just copy this anchor tag and put it around this one. It may look a little messy at the moment, but I think it's because of this image tag that's really screwing everything up. Okay, so now we have, I love learning in a paragraph tag. Now we have an anchor, and it's going to google.com, and then nested inside this, if we tab this over, we can see that we have, there you go, that's easier for people to see. Now we see that we have this anchor tag going to Google, then we have this paragraph tag nested inside the anchor tag, and then outside of the paragraph tag, the closing paragraph tag, tag, we have a closing anchor tag. So now we should be able to click on this, go to Google, which that works, and we should be able to click on this and go to YouTube, which that works as well. Awesome. So let's try and save and submit our code. Remember guys, you can make anything you want. Um, I just try to stress it to you guys of how to like nest this stuff in there because um, some of you guys will probably think, oh yeah, I got this, and then try to figure it out, and then your shit's not working, and then you're like, what the fuck? And... <laughs> That's probably because you probably didn't nest it right, or you forgot to close off some of your tags, or you used the different attributes. You mixed them up with href for the anchor, with the src with the image. So, all right, everything looks good. We should try and save and submit. Congratulations, we finished the course. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we got another badge, guys. Congratulations. Uh, stay tuned for the next course when we get onto HTML Basics Two. Learn a little bit more about HTML and CSS. Also, guys, if you like the video, make sure to thumbs it up. It only takes a second to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you get stuck. Hopefully, I'm explaining things thoroughly to you guys. And um, if I'm taking too long to explain some things, or if you enjoy me elaborating on some things, I mean, much would be appreciated if you drop me a comment or send me a DM. All right, guys, until next time, you have a wonderful day. I'm Caleb. I'm out.